make a quick, quick video. I am making a ground beef Philly cheese steak. I found this on Facebook. So what I have is you want some ground beef. If you don't like ground beef, you can use ground turkey. Um, I also have onions and I also have green peppers with um, all kind of peppers in it. I said I wasn't going to use that, but to me, that's what's going to really bring it out. I'm really not a pepper person, but I'm going to make it work. Um, and I also, because I know my husband loves peppers, you're also going to be needing some provolone, butter, and bread. Let's get started. And you're also going to be needing two skillets, okay? What you're going to do is cook this ground beef until it gets brown. And you're going to put your vegetables inside of this skillet to go ahead and get them cooked. Add you some uh, spray to the vegetables so the actual skillet will be uh, nice and um, lubricated. <laughs> okay. I am going to add some seasoning to the uh, ground beef. And you're also going to be adding this sauce right here. I always pronounce it crazy and I don't feel like having nobody help me pronounce it. So you guys read that. <laughs> This is what you need also, okay? And just put just a little bit on your meat. Okay, so I have all the seasonings in there and I'm gonna just let it cook. You can put you some Pam at the bottom of the skillet, coat it, and then put your vegetables on. If you want to, you can cut them up, but I'm the type of person that I like to uh, already buy mine already done, okay? Makes it take such, such less time because you guys know we busy. Okay, you guys, they are done. I cook, always make sure you cook your vegetables because you do not want them hard, especially green peppers. And that round beef is done. I'm gonna put them together. I'm about to get this uh, skillet cleaned off. Get me some oil, because you're gonna have to use some oil. Get your cheese together, get your sandwich together, and now we're about to grill it. And guys, I put it inside of a bowl. I'm gonna put everything in a bowl. Make sure you drain this grease out before you put everything in a bowl, okay? Okay guys, here is the ground beef and the green peppers. Looking good. Most of the green peppers at the bottom, but now I'm about to make the sandwiches. Okay you guys, now I have got some bread. Um, I use this Nature's Own. You can use whatever bread you want. I am about to put butter. I'm gonna make four sandwiches. I'm gonna put butter on each one on the outside. So put it on the outside. So when you put all your food in, the butter will be on the outside and then you just close it and then you put it in the skillet. Okay guys, I put butter on each one. What I did was I put the butter on the top, put the butter on the bottom. Now I am about to fill this sandwich with the actual ground beef, you know, the ground beef and then the vegetables and then I'm gonna put some provolone on top. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, so put your insides and then put your provolone right on top and then smack dab, put it right back. And go ahead and do all four. Okay guys, now go ahead and let it cook down. Um, you will be able to see when it needs to be turned. When you do turn it, use your spatula um, as well as your other, um, let me show you. You'll be using these two things to turn them over. Unfortunately, I gotta hold the camera, but I don't know where my tripod is, so use these two things to be able to turn these sandwiches over so you won't lose your insides. Okay guys, one is finished. And this made it so much easier to turn over, you just kind of tuck this up under here, tuck the spatula up under there, put this on top, hold them together, and just turn them in, in the skillet. So now I want for the, I'm about to put two more in the skillet. And what you gotta make sure that your skillet is oiled and probably cook it for, just check it. You will know when it's time to turn it over. Just check it and see if it's brown, and then you will know when it's time to turn it over. Have it on medium, not too high. Go ahead and let that cook. And once that cook good, check it and then turn it over. And then it'll be done. Super simple. And then just kind of press it down once you turn it over. Just give it a good press down. Pick it for a little bit and then take it out. Okay, guys, I'm cooking one more. Here is the end results. They look like they're going to be tasting good. I'm actually going to cut them in half. Yeah, I just want to show y'all. Making this, it is quite messy. So be careful, you guys. What I'm going to do is... Clean up as you go. Once I get finished with this, I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, and it'll be good. And I'll come back to you guys with the end results. Looking so good. Okay, guys. It is officially done. I cut one out for you guys so you can see the inside. It looks good. I can't wait to try it. See? 
So I am going to go ahead and put some aluminum foil on these. And I think what I'm going to do, y'all, I just wanted y'all to show that, see the inside. I'm actually going to leave them together because to me they lay better and are more or less messy if I cut them up. So we are done. If you got any questions, let me know. If you made this, let me know how you like it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I have so many videos coming out. You guys take care, be blessed, and I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.